This morning, Ukrainian President Zelensky is preparing to address the UN Security Council to detail allegations of widespread killing of civilians by Russian troops. Among those who could be listening to his speech, the Russian envoy to the UN, because Russia is a permanent member of the Security Council. On Monday, Zelensky visited Bucha, a suburb of Kyiv, where Ukrainian forces found the bodies of hundreds of civilians. ABC's James Longman witnessing this disturbing scene. One, two, three, four, five bodies in this tiny room in this basement where Ukrainians say people have been tortured and I can see their hands behind their backs. It is a truly apocalyptic scene. It's just absolutely horrific in here. Now, officials are also warning about the situation in Borodyanka, another town outside Kyiv. Ukraine's prosecutor general is saying, in terms of human casualties, the worst situation is in Borodyanka. There's a lot to process. And Ukraine's foreign minister claims the scenes in the port city of Mariupol are worse than Bucha and Borodyanka. I can tell you without an exaggeration, but with great sorrow, that the situation in Mariupol is much worse compared to what we've seen in Bucha and other cities, towns and villages nearby Kyiv. In response, President Biden is vowing to impose more sanctions on Russia, and he says Vladimir Putin should be tried for war crimes. But in the midst of the gruesome and tragic images, this military dog named Patron is stealing hearts. He's helping to clear mines and unexploded shells left behind by the Russians. <laughs> Now that Russia has withdrawn from parts of the north, there's concern the Russians are about to launch a new offensive in the south and east, in cities that have been under relentless assault for weeks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.